Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanelungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanelungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's anything that you guys want us to react to, you can let us know by dropping a link, and we'll actually do it for you guys. Uh, we also do other things. We've got a second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. You guys can head there and enjoy our weekly vlogs and just don't forget to subscribe. We've got a podcast called uh, Diving In With Funny where we discuss certain things that happen in the world. And if there's anything that you guys want us to talk about, let us know. We'll talk about it. Otherwise, you can find us on iTunes, Spotify, this channel, our second channel for the visual and just enjoy our conversations. We've got a Patreon and you guys can feel free to become members and we'll be very, very grateful. A big shout out to everyone that subscribed so far. So fast, thank you very much. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for watching. Thank you for um, commenting. Thank you for being friendly. Thank you for just sticking around. We appreciate you guys so much. I hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. So today we're going to be reacting to Shamsi calls Hebrew Israelites to islam speakers corner i enjoyed the other speakers corner video that you guys suggested uh for me to react to and i hope i enjoy this one as well i'm always eager to see what people have to say and a big shout out to the person that suggested this so without wasting time let's get into the video i'll show you from the bible satan influenced god would you leave, would you uh, reject the bible you can't influence god okay okay خلاص, let me show you then uh, what's your name جميل جميل نفسي بيتو من الشمس جميل السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الله راكو خلاص خلاص أنا أقول هل قاعد سيئة وراكو يا عو شو جميل لوك لوك جميل كوز I never met you bro this is the first step okay what we have to do let us be sincere let us be seekers of the truth we should not we should not let the anything blind us from following the truth okay I will show you something which about Prophet Job. Okay. Prophet Job. Yeah. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to, to, to the prison themselves the before the Lord. And the Satan also came among them. The Lord said to the Satan, the Lord said to Satan, From where have you come? And the Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro on the earth and from walking up and down on it and the Lord said to the Satan have you considered my servant Job that there was this there's none like him okay on the earth a, a, a blameless and upright man who fears God and turns away from evil then the Satan answered the Lord and said does a Job fear God for no reason have you not uh, put a hedge around him and his house and all that he has on every side you have blessed the work of his hands and his position have increased in the land but stretched out so, so satan is telling god what to do yeah but listen to this yeah? sorry german but um yeah but stretch out your hand and touch all that he has and he will curse you to your face okay so satan is saying he will curse god that's right if, if he um takes away what job has job will change job will curse you. yeah job will change. Right. Okay. so so now watch this okay I don't want this one to go away. Okay. Uh, okay, here again. Still hold. Okay. Yeah. And the Lord said to the Satan, Have you considered my servant Job that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man who feel God and turns away from evil? He still holds fast his integrity. Although you ins oh, listen, listen, listen. Although you incited me and guessed him to destroy him without a reason. Yeah. So God said to the Satan, yeah, you incite me to destroy Job without a reason. Right. So Satan influenced God to test who? Job. Job, that's right. But you just said me, Satan, uh, God, no one, uh, no one influenced God. You see what I'm saying? That's what Allah said in the Quran because you asked something which is good. Good question. I hope you're sincere. Likewise, I'll try to be sincere, inshallah. Allah mentioned the Quran. Wail on woe to those who write the something and they say that's from Allah. When you look Germany, yeah? when you look to the prophets of God in the Bible, 
and the prophets of God in the Quran. You know why Allah sent the Quran? Hear me out. Allah sent the Quran job. Satan tried to test him. But you know what he said? He was very patient with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rather when he wants to complain, his wife doesn't complain. So you believe the version of Job that's in the Quran rather than the version Yes, because it makes Bible. it makes more sense. Because you just told me no one should influence God. Allah in the Quran never mentioned that Satan influenced him to and listen to this yeah, without a reason. That's the, that's that, oppression. That's right, that's right. God. So does God oppress his people? Especially the Israelites. He, he, he does, that's right. Without he a reason. Tries us. Without a reason. Without a reason. Yeah. Well, it's the tri to try our faith. Yeah, but he said, well, the reason here. He said, Satan, you incited me to yeah. destroy Job without, without a, reason. a reason. That's right. Uh, Job that's, didn't do nothing wrong. That's oppression. Imagine yeah, how God is God, isn't it? How can yeah, but God, God answered your question. No, he didn't because he's, I, I asked him uh, why in the Quran it says Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Prophethood should be with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And how did Ishmael come into prophethood? Because in the verse, that verse, if you take it out, clearly Allah said that Allah will be given the prophethood to the offspring of Abraham. Offspring of who? Abraham. Okay? Yeah, but Abraham had plenty of children. No, him, yeah, man. Somebody, Jimmy, him, yeah. It, it, no, him. It was a child of promise. Uh, before we go to Isaac. Abraham, we're not talking about Abraham. Now, Allah, because you caught the verse, correct? So if you call the verse, you have to put it correctly. Allah said the prophet would be given to the offspring of Abraham. It's Ishmael. Abraham, Isaac, uh, and Jacob. No, no, no. This is not the verse he's talking about. Because there's a verse Allah said will be given to the offspring of Noah and Abraham. Okay? Noah and Abraham. So now is Ishmael the offspring of Abraham? Yes, according to the Quran. Now in the Quran clearly said about Ismail, وَكَانَ رَسُولَ النَّبِيَّةِ And Ismail was a messenger of Allah and a prophet of Allah. See what I'm saying? Right, no. Is that clear? Okay. What was? Okay. Because uh, no, let's, let's All right, go on, go on. Let's Take it easy, man. No, no, of course, of course. Because he seems like a wise man, inshallah. What I'm saying, look. Are you? I don't know, but I'm just gonna ask. Are you coming from the angle of Hebrew Israelite thing? That's right. Okay. Allah mentioned the Quran. Ya bani Israel, udkuru ni'mati lati an'amtu alaykum. وأني فضلتكم على العالمين. All the Israelites. Allah addressing the Israelites. Remember my favor upon you. That I have bestowed you. I have bestowed my favor upon you. And I have chosen you. I have favored you over the other nations. That's right. And Allah favored the Israelites because why? They follow God's teaching. That's right. And there was many prophets among them. That's right. But there's a condition. Allah doesn't favor you because you're born as a black or white. No. Because you follow His teaching. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the Quran on the Bible, that there will be a prophet like Moses, okay? And Allah wants to test the people. Because some people, they follow God as long the prophet is from their nation, from their tribe. If a prophet is not from their tribe, they don't follow that prophet. So, so God is testing the people, are you following my teaching because someone from your country, or you following my teaching because I am, you believe I am God? That's what Allah tells the Israelites by bringing the last prophet from the Arabs. And are you aware that in, in the Old Testament, there is a prophecy about Prophet Muhammad? I don't believe you. Okay, I will show you. You go do your research, but I will show you this one. Isaiah 42. I will show you King James one. Okay? Too many, too many zip in this suitcase. Confusion. Okay. I will let you to think, tell me what you think about this. Okay? This is Isaiah 42, okay? The servant comes to glorify the Lord. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my elect one, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to do? Gentiles. Who are the Gentiles? All the heathen nations that are not Israelites. They're not Israelites, okay. So these servants come to the Gentiles. So why did, why did God, God go to the Gentiles? Uh, 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 why did he go to an Arab nation? Yeah, why God? Uh, you can't tell what God to do. Yeah, I know, but why would he do that? Finished. Yeah, yeah. Why would he do it? What do you mean, why? If, if, I told if, you, if I told you. I'll finish the German. Uh, that, look, so he's mentioned he will come to, look, he will bring forth justice to the Gentiles. He will not cry out nor raise his voice, okay? I want to focus on the main point here, watch this. Yeah. Let the witness and its cities lift up their voice. The villages that kill the inhabitants, let the inhabitants of Sila sing it. Do you know who's Kedah? No. Okay, you go to Genesis 25, 13, and it tell you who's Kedah. And this were the names of the sons of Ishmael, by their names according to their generations. The firstborn of Ishmael Nabiot, then who? Kedah. So this prophecy speaking 
precisely, specifically about a person, also about a name. If you go to Silla and you Google it, a mountain of Silla is known to be in Saudi, more specifically in Medina. So this prophecy I spoke to Christians, I spoke to Hebrew Israelites. No one can give me an answer. This prophecy, there's two things about it. Either is a false prophet because no one fulfills this prophecy except Prophet Muhammad. So if you don't accept Prophet Muhammad, about Prophet Muhammad, you have to accept that Isaac is a false prophet. If you accept that prophecy is true, then it doesn't not fit no one except Prophet Muhammad. All right, to do more research. No worries, I told you. All right, bro. It was nice talking to you. Look out to yourself. Take care. Yeah, you had questions about no, what Allah chosen. That was his question. About the uh, uh, Ismail. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned what Allah said. Allah said, La yes, la yus al amma yif'al. Wahum yus alu. You don't ask Allah what he does, but Allah will ask you. That's his kingdom. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, because we believe prophethood, the first thing Allah chose people. However, as I told you, Allah wants to test the people. Because the Israelites, they were following a prophet. Allah, many prophets are from the Israelites. We know that, okay? Without any doubt, Allah mentioned that, okay? However, Allah wants to test them. Are you following these prophets because they are from you people, or you following them because you believe in me, in God? So Allah wants to test you. Let me bring a prophet from another nation and I see if you're going to believe in him. Because that prophet is coming from me. If you believe these guys are prophet because it's coming from me, therefore logic dictate you should believe in that prophet because it's coming from me as well. Or you believe in that prophet because you are blinded with what? Tribalism, nationalism. Not because of the truth. That's what Allah tests. Is that clear? Make sense? Yeah. Thank you so much. I'll see you, inshallah. A long time, but I haven't seen you. Ask family, if it's good. Alhamdulillah, take care. Take care, bro. Yeah. All right. These guys really have some um, interesting videos and I just like the respect that goes on. It doesn't matter what religion, you're getting to have a conversation about things for things to make sense. You have to be open-minded to even have such a conversation. So a big shout out to them. And I like how he said he has to do his research. I'm sure he will read both Bible, the Quran and compare stuff and find out whatever is there to find out knowledge lies in books so read guys do your research otherwise thank you for suggesting this i enjoyed it there's many more that you want us to see let us know in the comment section below and we'll actually do it for you make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video